These bottom bars extend between columns and feature 90 degree hooks at their ends for secure anchoring. Reinforcement plays a crucial role in concrete beams as it's responsible for resisting tension forces, increasing compression capacity, improving ductility, and reducing long-term deflections in the concrete. Moreover, reinforcement is essential to prevent concrete from cracking due to shear stresses, shrinkage, and temperature differences. In this video, we will discuss the typical methods of reinforcing concrete beams. First of all, we will explore how reinforcement is distributed in a single span beam. Afterward, we will shift our focus to multi-span or continuous beams. In a single span beam, we begin with bottom reinforcement which serves to counteract bending stresses and prevent tension cracks at the beam's lower section where concrete is vulnerable to tension. These bottom bars extend between columns and feature 90 degree hooks at their ends for secure anchoring. If the design calls for it, additional reinforcement can be added in subsequent layers above the bottom layer. Following that, we examine top reinforcement which also extends between columns and incorporates 90 degree hooks for anchoring. Top reinforcement is vital for resisting bending stresses at the beam's support points. If necessary, Extra reinforcement can be introduced in a second layer below the top layer, usually extending by one-fourth of the span length from the column's face or as dictated by the design. Now let's delve into stirrups or transverse reinforcement critical for withstanding shear stresses and keeping the longitudinal reinforcement in place. Stirrups prevent shear, flexural and torsional cracks that occur at 45 degree angles to the main beam axis and enhance the shear strength of concrete. Stirrups are usually closely spaced near the beam's support points where the shear forces are maximum. However, in cases mandated by the design, closely spaced stirrups can be distributed along the entire span of the beam. Stirrups come in various configurations depending on the number of legs and whether they are open or closed looped. Additionally, the hook angle can vary based on design requirements, typically being 180 degree, 135 degree or 90 degree. That concludes our discussion on single span beam reinforcement. Next, we will explore how reinforcement is implemented in multi-span or continuous beams. In multi-span or continuous beams, the approach to bottom reinforcement, top reinforcement and stirrups is almost similar to that of single span beams except for the intermediate junctions. At these points, top and bottom reinforcement may extend into adjacent spans as dictated by the design. Usually, additional top bars extend by one-fourth of the span length into the neighboring beam. That's it for this video. Stay tuned for more reinforcement related content by subscribing this channel and hitting the notification bell. Thank you.